Since the dawn of man, scientists have longed to travel through time. In the late 1960s, a crack team of geniuses combined their talents to attempt to break the time barrier. In the Florida Keys, Dr. Woodstock P. Havens was given the task of building a special space shuttle. Yeah, but I decided to make a submarine instead, man. So come on and join me as we float through time. Come down. I'll be right there. Coming. Whoa. Dudes, I am so glad you're here today. Because we're like in the middle of this really important experiment. You know, like so far, I've only been able to bring people back from the past to the future. But today, Handsome and I decided to try and send Shiloh back to the year 700 B.C., Dude, that's a long time ago, even before Jesus was born. <whistles> oh, hey, handsome. What do you got there? The remote? Okay, are you ready to bring Shiloh back? All right, hit it, dude. Go for it. <laughs> he should be on the way. There he goes. Time travel alert. Time travel alert. We have a time travel visitor. In oh, three, oh, it's working. Two, one. Whoa. In time? Oh, I totally did, man. I met awesome. this dude named Isaiah. Isaiah? I know who that is. He was a prophet. Really? Yeah. I thought he was a shepherd with really bad eyesight because he, he kept on calling everybody sheep. He called you a sheep, man? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's crazy, baby. <laughs> what do you think he meant by that? I don't know, man, but I know where to look. We should check the porthole for the power right. source. Go for it. <laughs> Oh, hey, little fishy. <laughs> hey, dude, you found Nemo. Oh, I totally <laughs> did, man. Hey, bye, little fishy. <laughs> See you, man. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait a minute. What? Where there's fish, there's water. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong window, man. I love that. The power that. source is on this side. <laughs> Look for it. Okay. Oh, dude, here it is. All right, this is what Isaiah said. Mm. Uh, we all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. What? <laughs> That's it, Shiloh. That's the warning that Isaiah gave to God's people. Whoa. You see, Isaiah wasn't calling them sheep. He was saying that people are like sheep oh. because sometimes they wander away from God and they forget to focus on what's really important. Right, and what's important is Jesus. But yes. like, dude, like, what is an iniquity? Oh, iniquity is another word for sin. You oh. know, like when we do wrong things in God's eyes. All right, I can totally relate, man. Sometimes I do bad things. Yeah, but the good news is Jesus took our sins to the cross. <laughs> Whoa, but... I thought Jesus obeyed God all the time. Oh, he did. No, no, Jesus didn't do the sins. Uh, he was just the only one that was perfect enough to take our sins, bring them to the cross, and get rid of them once and for all. Whoa, that's totally crazy, man. You got to love Jesus. I do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, dude, Jesus came to save us. Yeah, and Shiloh, the prophets were always warning God's people that the Savior was going to come. Whoa, 
love. That's probably why Isaiah was always trying to get people to turn back to God. Whoa. All right, man. All right, that's the choice. Oh. That's the one that Isaiah gave God's people. Turn to me and be saved, all ye ends of the earth. For I am God and there is no other. Wow, you can say that again. <laughs> Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth. For I am God and there is no other. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Turn to me and No, Uncle oh. Woody, I mean, that's something that we all need to hear. <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Especially me. Uncle Woody, can I be frank with you? Oh, yeah, dude, sure. Yeah, you can be Frank, you can uh. be Sammy or Jerry or Dean, whatever makes you happy, man. <laughs> no, I mean, can I be honest with you? Oh, of course, dude. Yeah, go ahead. Well, sometimes I do bad things even when I don't want to. But, dude, that's nothing new. Uh. Yeah, we all sin. Yeah, that, like Isaiah said, we're all like sheep who just keep wandering away from God doing our own thing. Whoa. Whoa! Uncle Woody, I think the power went out, man. Oh, not a problem. I'm prepared in case of an emergency. I got this groovy light in here. There we go. Whoa. Whoa, Uncle Woody, you got it, man. No, yeah, it's a stellar light, isn't it? No, not the light. I mean, you got the promise. Oh, yeah. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. Dude. That's like code for Jesus. Like Jesus is the light that guides us back to God. Yeah, and Jesus is more than just a light, too. Jesus is God's son. Whoa. A double promise. <laughs> Excellent. There's more to this promise. Mm -hmm. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called a wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. I get it, Uncle Woody. Okay. He came down here to bring peace between us and God. Yeah. Jesus is God's son who saves us from our sins. You can say that again. <laughs> Jesus is God's son who saves us from our sins. Ah, dude, you're teasing me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to remember Isaiah's warning and turn back to Jesus with all my heart. Dude, that's the best choice you can ever make. <laughs> I promise. You can say that again. <laughs> yeah, <teaser>. yeah. <laughs> All right, kids, we're going to try another experiment. Maybe this time we'll send me back in time. Whoa. But until next time, you keep turning back to Jesus. And remember, no matter where, where you are in time, time God, God is good, good all the time. time. Peace.